whole thing than just uh, riots and, and anarchy in the UK, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and and I mean, uh, you know, when I went to Pork Fest for the first time, I was already a little bit active in, but but mostly in campaigning for like Ron Paul and stuff like yeah. that. And uh, you know, I, I started to to evolve, and I learned about the non-aggression principle, and and uh, I made my way to Pork Fest, and I I, I I you know met some great people there, and they inspired me just just by why. And, and again, like you mentioned before, Angel, the uh, the YouTube videos of seeing these people on you know yeah. in, in New Hampshire and everything, and they're they're just. Uh, they're just out there, and they're 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 challenging these laws in a, in a in a peaceful, nonviolent way, and it's it's just so amazing to watch these it people. It really makes the police look ridiculous when they they come at peaceful activists with such violence as well. Absolutely, because and, and it's because police only know one thing, and that's violence. So they only know how to react. So if if you react violently to them, the. They're, they have no problem with that. That's what yeah. they're used to handling. They're, they're, they're used to dealing with violence. They're not peacekeepers anymore. Exactly. They, they are enforcement now. But uh, can you can you tell me some more about the the Lemonade Freedom Day event uh, for tomorrow? It's also the Raw Milk Freedom Riders. But we already spoke to Liz about the Raw Milk Park. So so what exactly is going to be going on tomorrow, and and where should everyone be? Well, tomorrow, everyone, uh, if they have the ability, they should go out and uh, get, get get over here to Washington D.C. with us. Uh, here at the Belly of the Beast, we're going to be on the lawn of the Capitol, uh, and we're going to have a great time. Where it's going to be 12 o'clock noon tomorrow, and we're basically going to be celebrating our right to voluntary exchange. This is going to be a, a huge celebration, um, and and we're just going to be out there as free people uh, participating in free exchange. We're going to barter, we're going to trade, we're going to sell things, and we're going to have a great old time. We hope you know as many people show up as possible. Um, and if you can't make it here, there's there's events in Philly, there's events uh, in other places uh, in, in in the country, and uh, and in Canada as well. And uh, even if you can't find an event close to you, then just uh, go out and set up a lemonade stand or a raw milk stand, or go out and sell something and, and have a good time. Yeah, go out, go out and start your own. I mean, that's that's kind of the whole point. Of course, I will say, at uh, twelve o'clock is kind of early for me, but I will be there. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> um, and uh, can can I also say that it's just. It's it's really nice to, to to be at least at this um this this rights workshop because I feel that I've gotten to interact with some of the people that I've seen on these YouTube videos some of the people that have inspired me in my act activism I've I've got to see them here which I thought was really cool. All right, well uh, that covers it for the Angel Clark Show this evening. I want to thank Derek J and I want to thank Rob Fernandez. The Angel Clark Show will return Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Until that time, remember, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. Congress today passed a landmark social security.